Hey guys, it's Carthrone. Here we have a box of Pokemon Tops Merlin stickers. These are from year 2000, I believe, even though the PSA label says 1999. See, it has a 2000 copyright date there. They were published by Tops Europe, so these were released in Europe. Also, these boxes don't really come sealed, like they just come like this. So. The packs inside are loose. It has 100 packs. We'll open a few of them. I'll also be selling some of these on my eBay page. If you guys are interested in picking any of these up, these ones are a bit crunched on the top. The ones that were sitting on the top of the box, but the ones down below look pretty clean. So I've been trying to pull some of the hollow stickers out of these and grade them because there are a lot of popular Pokemon you can hit that would sell really well as a PSA 10, but they're really tough to grade in a 10. Also, the stickers are really fragile, so you kind of have to be careful when opening these packs so that they don't get bent. They're a lot flimsier than cards. Cards are pretty durable. Oh, looks like we have a hollow sticker in this pack. Let's see. Ooh, a Misty. I know there's a waifu craze right now. Maybe we can grade that. Let's see how we look. And is there any damage? Doesn't look like there's damage. I have had problems with them docking for the print lines, though. You can see there's one print line there and another one there, another one there. But maybe we get a grader that doesn't dock for print lines because sometimes that happens. Some graders are not very harsh on print lines. Some are. Like sometimes we'll get an 8 on this and sometimes we'll get a 10. It just depends on the grader. But yeah, that's a nice first hollow sticker to pull. Not sure how many packs I'm going to open. Let's just get into a few more and see how we're looking. Again, you need to be very careful when opening these as to not bend the corners. They're kind of difficult to open. Alright, let's see if we can get those out now. Also, the bottom sticker likes to stick to the pack. There we go. Alright, let's just flip them over like this. Home star. Ooh, Venusaur, let's go. We might grade that. I like how it has the Pokemon logo on that also. Look at tough and hit my chin. I would like to pull some of the Dragonite stickers because I want to grade those as a PSA 10 for my collection. Alright. Why is this not coming apart? Come on. Let us in there. There you go. Alright, carefully. Okay, let's go. And the stuck to the pack one is a Caterpie. We have Caterpie, Victory Bell, Seal, Golbat, Aerodactyl, and a Snorlax. The Snorlax does have a little bit of damage there though. So that one's not going to be gradable. It's a shame because we would like to get that one graded. I'm really trying to open these without bending the stickers. It's so difficult. I got this. Ivysaur. Wait, what, what's the hollow? What's the hollow? What's the hollow? <gasps> oh, a Mew. This one has a lot of print lines, though. It also looks like it has almost like some sort of scratches and maybe that's just how the hollow is though I think I graded a Mew sticker before and it got a 9 or something or an 8 something up with the, one of the corners there probably won't grade this it does have really thick print lines we'll see though let's set up Bulbasaur Gassy He's been so easily. You have to be super careful. 
Let's try using scissors to cut it first. We have to cut it quite close to the stickers or else it's not going to come up and see. Come on, just let us in there. Let's just surgically remove the stickers. At least the front card. Oh, wait, the front card is. Wait, this pack has so many hollows. Hold up, hold up. Alright, at least this one's not an important one. We got James. Wait, how does this pack have so many hollows? Beedrill. Ooh, Gyarados. That one's not a 10, though. It has some bins. A muck. Alright, our hollows are not too good here, though. Ooh, Articuno. Pretty off center. So has some lines there. And executive. Alright. That was kind of not great. Four stickers that are not really desirable to grade, I would say. The only one I would maybe is the James. Unless they're just super mint. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe we just send them all in. Maybe we just fill out the pop. Just greet everything. They don't really look like... They're gonna get tens, though. Maybe this one is okay, but we do have a little bit of a ding up at the top there. Alright, next up. Let's just try to rip it again. Cutting it didn't really work too well. Oh! Charmander. It's gonna be stuck though. Ah, it's so annoying to open these. Jesus. What do we do from here? What do we do? Good job just cutting the side, maybe? I don't know if that's gonna work. Alright, there we go. Charmander. Oh, Pikachu sticker. Let's go. Again, I don't think I've seen one that doesn't have the print lines. Also, this one has some damage there. So that, that one's not going in Magikarp. And a moth. Alright. Haven't looked at the full set list for this, so I don't know everything you can hit. This is just a really cool product, though. I mean, if it wasn't this old, it probably wouldn't be anything because a lot of the arts are really basic but the fact that it was produced in like either 1990 or year 2000 makes it a bit cooler to open again this one has some lines there not seeing that one in we'll go through them more closely after to figure out what i want to attempt creating I graded some before and my PSA 10 rate was zero, but I'm hopeful that I will hit some in the future. If not, it's okay. At least we tried. What do we have here? Oh yeah, one of the like puzzle piece type cards. It's nice how that has like the Pikachu pattern on there. No hollow in that pack. It's crazy that one pack we had four hollows in one pack, and then some we have zero. I guess it's just completely random, like every slot can have either non-hollow or hollow. Magmar, come on. Starmie. No eradicate slow bro. I do like me some slow bro. Pidgeotto. Don't want to bend the corner of that. Alright, there we go. Wow. 
Wow, so many hollows in this one. Let's go. Four hollows again? Oh, an Eevee too? Ooh, a Charmeleon hollow. I don't know if the gold background means anything. Are those more rare or something? Maybe. I might send in this one. No, the corner's a bit bent. How's the EV? Has a line on it. Really tough. I don't know how we're gonna get any tens on these, to be honest. All right, we'll open like one or two more, and then we'll see. I might open more in another video, or I might just sell these loose. I do want to hit a Dragonite sticker, though. I might just rip packs until I open one of those. I should just try to get the. The stuck card after. What is the stuck card? Ah, so difficult. Ghastly, Haunter, Meowth. Ooh, that Bulbasaur is rough. Got some creases on it. Minima, Seeking. Nothing great. Alright, we'll open one more in this video. Let's see how we do. Can we pull any bangers? Growlithe. Staryu. Lapras. Ooh, there's a Dragonite. Do not think it's gradable, though. The right edge there is a bit rough. I have seen one of these on eBay in a tin. I don't know how someone... Was able to grade it. They, they just got lucky, I guess. And what is the card stuck to the pack? See, we just bent that by trying to rip it. <laughs> and it's a hollow. That's unfortunate. Should have been more careful. Alright. Anyway, that's it for this opening. Hope you guys enjoyed. These packs are pretty fun. They're like really cheap too for such an old product. But if you're interested in picking up any of these, I will try to sell them on my eBay store for a good price. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.